Good morning, Rock Church, Facebook, YouTube. My brothers and sisters, follow us by way of Twitter. This is Pastor Robin Lewis Stevenson. Guess what, y'all? I'm down in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm on my vacation, but I told you all that I'm going to make sure we get this Rama word, man. Oh, Sister Johnson, you right there. You've been waiting on your pastor. I see you. I see you right there. Come on now. I see y'all coming in. That's right. We're coming in. We'll continue to magnify God. Why is that? Because this is Sanctified Sunday. Come on, somebody. We set apart to do God's work. Brothers and sisters, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for an opportunity to gather this day. This is the day that you have made. March the 6th. Come on, somebody. Father, I pray that our hearts will be open and receptive to your word. It's a ram of word that you've given us that we may live this day. In Jesus' name. Let God's people say amen. You say amen. Okay. All right, y'all. Look, in the background, where I'm at, I'm right in my buddy's place. He got a place down here in Phoenix, Arizona. We plan on playing golf every single day. Man, it's the first time in a long time that I slept. A long time, y'all. Y'all know I'm up very early in the morning. So God has given me rest. So thank you all for praying for me. Boy, I tell you, God's power is something else. Let's get into the word this morning. Now, we know that the title of the message this morning is God's versatile power is immeasurable. That's right. Come on now. Man, it's, it's, incal it's, it's incalculable, okay? It's unfathomable. It's boundless. Do you believe that? Let me ask you this question this morning. Do you really believe that God's power could be immeasurable in your life today? Is there anything that you, that you need his power to work in and through? Is there any relationships that you, you, you pray, God, I, I, I want you to fix this? But let me tell you something. A lot of times because, because we go through things and we challenge and, you know, we, we get discouraged, we don't realize that power, God's power is immeasurable. Brothers and sisters, listen, just like pretty soon the sun going to be rising behind me. Who you think going to bring that sun up? Do you think man got a switch that's going to bring that sun up? No, 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 that ain't the case. It's the power of God. God rises it and he let it set. That same power is in us and it's made available, but you're going to have to do something about that. Okay, and I'm going to show you based on the realm of word on this sanctified Sunday is found in Ephesians chapter one, verse 19 and 21. Come on, turn your Bibles over as we read this word of God this morning. It says, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power towards us who believe? According to the working of his great might that we work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. Come on, somebody. Do you understand what Paul is telling the church in Ephesus? He says, just because you believe this immeasurable great power is available for us, but how, how is that even possible? Let me tell you how. Because Jesus came down and he died on the cross. He raised with all power. Here we go. This immeasurable power raised him from a grave that he was in. On the third day, the Bible said he rose with all power. That same power that he rose with. Come on, somebody. Now he's seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for you. So if you want this power to work in and through your life, you got to know that, first of all, I got to pray. God, I got to believe what I'm, I, I got to believe what I'm saying to him. Jesus ain't got the time to be messing around with people who ain't faithful in their prayers. The very fact that you ask Jesus come into your life, this power at that point was made available for you. Don't you walk in powerlessness. Come on, somebody. Now, let me ask you this question. Are you ready to release your faith this sanctified Sunday knowing that God's versatile power is immeasurable for you? I'm waiting on you. Are you? Okay, 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 okay. So, you know what we're talking about. We got to keep it simple, saints. We're just going to kiss. Keep it simple, saints. How so? Let me tell you how so. Two ways. Number one. I need you to understand that Jesus is above all things. 
Okay? This means that nothing can separate you from the love of God. Okay? He got all power in your tribulations. Whatever you're going through right now and whatever you've been going through, he got all power to help you to get out of them. He got all power, come on somebody, in your distress. I know we all distressed, man, thinking about, hey, this COVID season we've been in, we, we're trying to figure out how do we navigate based on all these mask mandates being lifted. Do I really want to go in this restaurant? These folks ain't got no masks on. Do I really want to be in this place? I know all that's going through your mind because it went through my mind. But let me tell you something. God got all power for that pain right now you're going through physically. I know you're tired of taking that medication, but I'm telling you, God got all power. My brother and sister, these aches we get, the sorrows you go through, the grief that's going on, and all that's a cause because of the anxiety that you are going through. God has all power right now to release in you if you believe. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, all you got to do is believe. You know, the Bible says he don't care about no persecution, no famine, no nakedness, no danger or sword. All power is made available just because you believe. The second thing I want you to write down is I need you to pray. I want you to pray that God will release this immeasurable power right now in the name of Jesus. What you're going through with your children, what you're going through with your boss, what you're going through in your community, I am telling you, release it today and watch what happened. Come on, somebody. If you believe that with me, pray with me. Family, Father God, we love you. We bless you. We thank you for your immeasurable power. It's greatness. That power that brought Jesus down from the cross, down from heaven, on the cross and back up to heaven is, is right there made available for us. God, I pray that we won't forget that. I pray, God, there's nothing that can separate us from the love of God because we believe. God, I pray that we will stand on your promises of this immeasurable power that you may be glorified. In Jesus' name, let God's people say amen. Mwah! Come on, somebody. You just been kissed on this sanctified Sunday. Walk in this immeasurable power and talk in this immeasurable power and serve in this immeasurable power and give in this immeasurable power because God loves us. He's already set the tone. He ain't resetting something he already set in place. Jesus is right now interceding for you. Walk in that intercessory right now and watch what God finished doing in your life. Hey, I just passed Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson from the Rock of Our Salvation Church. I am broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona. Somebody say amen. I'm on my way to play some golf, y'all. I get back with you. I love you. Take care of yourself. Mwah!